Hi Libra, welcome to your mid-March check-in. Let's get started. So Libra, the energy that I was picking up on when I was pre-shuffling for you is the energy of the doula. Uh, it's Cancerian energy. Some of you may have that in your chart or be dealing with that zodiac sign during this time frame um, and or it's just the influencing energy. But it's all about um, sympathy, empathy, getting in tune with your feelings, with your more feminine nature, whether you're male or female. Um, it's a very caring, nurturing, uh, kind of family-oriented vibe. Um, on the other side of that, it can be quite moody, it can be quite defensive, it can be a little bit introverted type of energy um, that you're dealing with, Libra. So, you know, yeah, free will as to which uh, end you're going to go with with that, right? But that's kind of the overall vibes that I'm getting for you, uh, Libra, to get this reading started. So let's see what the moon energy is, and then we will dive a little bit deeper into it for my Libras. So the moon energy you have out here is uh, a fiery climax approaches, and I think I got that in maybe the last weekly reading I did for you that was live. Um... This is Aries energy for some of you. So I feel like emotionally things may be getting a little bit fired up. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, you can channel that in a good way or in a bad way. It can make you uh, quite receptive to other people's emotions. But at the same time, when we absorb other people's emotions, it can um, be to our detriment, right? So you need to create like healthy boundaries, healthy balances for yourself, Libra. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and see uh, what energy you can expect for the remainder of this time frame. I'm going to focus the reading 100% on you, Libra, see what energies you're dealing with. Um, and then I'm going to go into the person or people you might be dealing with during this time frame. Okay, so Libra, recent past energy is the Two of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. So I think, you know, the word that I got in, the, in my mind was weighing it up. You know, I think in the past energy, you were weighing it up, whatever that is, um, whether it be love or career, just to see, you know, what was worth putting your time and energy into. Things might have seemed... A little slow to change, um, you know, you might be a little slow to change or have been in the past, or this could be like the energies you were dealing with where you had to put on two different hats, so to speak, you know, you're very practical, very logical, work-oriented type of vibe, and then the part of you that is more emotional, wanting to connect, wanting to feel connected, and you may be... Um, in the past energy, energy been bouncing back and forth between those two energies or needing to juggle those because maybe you have a lot of priorities, Libra, uh, that were demanding your attention. And so needing to be able to go back and forth um, is something that I feel in the past energy. It is a sense of like, should I, shouldn't I, or should I go with this option or this option? Um, you know, those types of decisions. But I feel on an emotional level, Libra, you may have felt like, okay, the song that keeps playing in the back of my mind is Can I Get a Connection by One Republic. So maybe you felt a lack of emotional connection and you were distracting your mind a little bit. And or it was like at the end of the day when you were exhausted and uh, you wanted to connect, maybe it wasn't available to you or that person wasn't available to you or whatever this is. Um, it's a sense of disconnection. Okay. And it could be that maybe there wasn't enough room for you to do self-love at the end of the day after juggling priorities or other people's needs before your own Libra. So that's kind of the vibe I'm feeling, right, for the recent past for you. So let's go a little bit further and see the Fool. The Chariot, the Wheel of Fortune. So coming into uh, the present energy, there's definitely um, 
new energy coming through for you, okay? Definite movement forward. Um, but I feel like there's still like this skeptical nature about you, Libra, as to what connections you want to allow into your life. Because like I said, I got this vibe that like at the end of the day, when you wanted to connect, that connection wasn't there for you. So if there's new connections coming through um, or reconnections coming through, I feel like you're kind of looking at it like with either uncertainty or skeptic skepticism. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune here, it often does talk about karma and divine timing, things uh, returning to be looked at. So um, I like that it's a, in the upright, you know, but let's see what this is about. The Hermit. So, yeah, now you have the Hermit here, the Ten of Cups, whoops, and the Four of Swords. So, I think Libra, you know, there's a sense of gaining enlightenment during this time period, and it has to do with connections, okay, because I keep getting that over and over and over again, connections. Uh, it has to do with um, your social connections, family, friends, an intimate partner, it'll be different for all of you, all of the above. Um... You know, because I feel some of you have maybe like underlying lessons to be learned as far as putting your energy into connections that don't give you the same energy back and or um, vice versa where someone gives all to you and you don't routinely give back. You could be on either side of that coin. Either way, I think it's something that is asking to be looked at, okay, Libra, during this time frame. How do you connect emotionally with people and how does that affect your external environment, right? I feel like um, you're, out, you're in a very sensitive type of nature and there is something culminating here as well. So let's not forget that there was a fiery climax approaching. That was the overall energy. Um, and often the Cancerian energy talks about patiently waiting uh, and nurturing uh, yourself uh, while you wait. So I think that Libra, there's going to be movement forward during this time frame um, and new beginnings presented to you, um, opportunities presented to you, connections. But if it's at all risky, that's what it is. If it's at all risky... I think that you you might want to think about it first. You know what I'm saying? Because I think you're wanting to connect and vibe with people that are on the same vibrational level as you, meaning like they, they want for you your highest good. And there's a sense of introversion here as well, like I said earlier, wanting to uh, be within the home, comfort zone. I mean, considering what's going on in the world right now, I wouldn't... I'd say that's a pretty good idea. Um, getting some rest, getting caught up on housework, uh, really mulling things over, thinking about your spiritual path, you know, and I think that some of you are finally taking the time to be able to stop and do that, to be quite honest with you. So let's see. Let's see the person you're dealing with and see if we can't pull it all together, shall we? So, person Libra is dealing with is the Hierophant, the Knight of Cups. This is their past energy. So, I think this person felt um, called to um, do the right thing. You know, um, I think that this person is in a really, really strong energy, Libra. Meaning like they feel like they're being guided to open up, to be strong, to be courageous, um, and to tackle some of their own inner demons. And a lot of them have been successful in it. Some of them, they have been called to do it, but they have not heeded that call just yet. You know, but I feel the energetic push is there for this person. I think that this person emotionally wants to stay committed to... Um, Things that make them feel confident, strong, 
you know, on top of their game. This is in the past energy. So let's see what's happening then in the present. So coming into the present energy, they are the Ten of Wands, the Page of Swords. So I think that um, Libra, you know, this person is... Also moving forward like you, okay? I think that they have carried around a lot of emotional burdens that might creep up on them during this time frame. It might trigger them. It might trigger uh, emotional responses or kind of like immature ways of thinking or communicating during this time frame. Um, but I think that the energy w is shifting from the past where they were working on being more emotionally committed and stable and working on themselves and then coming into the present. It just feels like it's a bit overwhelming to them. Like it may be hard for them to sustain that at this time because I think that they're also very skeptical themselves. I think they are very hard on themselves. Um, I think... I don't know. They've got their defenses up somewhat or it's like when this person gets exhausted, they just lose sight of reality almost, you know, as to like, especially how they affect other people. Um, it's an interesting energy, but going into the future energy here, you do have the three of cups, the six of wands and the moon card. So I think this is they're going to get it together, okay, Libra? So <laughs> they may waver a little bit in this energy or it may get overwhelming for them for a moment. But I feel like here's the fiery climax I was picking up on at the beginning of the reading. They're going to get it. They're going to get their shit together. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this person's going to um, rise up, you know, and take the higher road or at least they're being called to. You know, I think that they um, have a lot of emotions here and they bury these emotions so deep, Libra, that when it does catch up with them, which is what I was seeing coming into this time period, I think it's like it immediately, immediately triggers uh, trust issues and or, I don't know, it kind of makes them a, a bit a nasty personality to be honest, but they move out of it pretty quickly. So I think that they have done a lot of work on themselves. I think they start to go there and maybe they do go there, but they don't live there. You know, they don't stay there, um, for, um, ever, you know what I'm saying? So I, I see them getting it, getting it together. Okay. So what is the Three of Cups? Because I do want to know. The Emperor and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person is regaining their control over um, themselves. You know, <laughs> I think deep down, you know, the passionately, they want, they want to attract things to them and connections to them that uh, make them feel good, that give them attention, that give them make them feel like attractive or, <laughs> um, yeah, that's a little bit of a caution though, because if you put that much energy into other people to validate your own sense of self-worth, it can be a bit dicey, right? So, I mean, I guess that's a, ca a caution for your cross watcher, but I definitely see this person getting it together. Um, you know, moving forward, uh, communicating if you haven't been communicating with them. Um, you know, I think that they emotionally, they want to be seen as someone who's very capable of, you know, being able to do the right thing or being able to stay grounded. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm not saying that this person isn't because they certainly have done some work here, but they still have work yet to do, right? As do we all as human beings, honestly. But, um, that's kind of the vibes I'm getting. So I do want to know what.
what the karmic wheel is on Libra's side. The world. Strength. So, yeah, I feel like you don't want to you don't want to repeat past cycles, Libra. And um, although I do see that may be something that's coming back around, you're much stronger this time, okay? Um, some of you may repeat the cycle, but you have more insight this time than you did last time, or you're stronger than you were last time, so it may have a different outcome, you know, because I see the Ten of Cups, so what is that? Ten of Cups is Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups, Five of Wands. Yeah, I think that Libra, you're going to get enlightenment about things that make you happy versus things that you need to walk away from yet. And you may be brought a situation, a conflict, a discussion this uh, during this time frame where it reminds you of something you've been for through before or you've already dealt with before or had similar issues with before but this time around you will be able to glean from what you learned in the past and recognize it right and be like okay yes I I can't let someone destroy my happiness or this experience destroy that when I've already dealt with that before so by keeping your calm and keeping your silence um, you know, not inserting self, it avoids that situation. Now you have free will. You could certainly decide to play into this. You could repeat the cycle. You could invite hurt back into your life. Um, but just know that you need to then deal with that situation or that person with a different set of gloves this time. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you need to be very cognizant then of what exactly it is you're inviting into your life and how you're going to handle it this time. So, Libra, that's what I have for you. <laughs> Please do let me know how this resonates. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with, and it's a general reading, so don't get too caught up on these. But I have Leo here, Pisces, Aries, Cancer, Virgo. Cancer again, Aries again, Taurus, Leo. Cancer again, Pisces again, Aries again. Um, could be Capricorn here. But it can be any zodiac sign because it is a general reading. Either way, I am wishing you the very, very best. And um, also, while I have you here, please do take a quick look at um, my shop. So if you click on any of the hoodies below, it'll take you into my shop. Also, if you click on the little arrow beneath the video to open my description box and you can click on my Instagram, Facebook, and my other YouTube uh, from any of those links. So please do check it out. And uh, in addition to being able to share, like, and subscribe for free, and please do, you can now become a private member for a nominal monthly fee and get additional videos you can't get anywhere else. Um, so wishing you the best, Libra, and until next time, namaste. Bye.